Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'll be going over LazyWork and how you can use it to bypass time tracking software. I'll also be answering some of the frequently asked questions and other small changes we've made. Right off the bat, you can see there's quite a bit going on in the LazyWork UI. We have mouse, scroll, keyboard, and tabbing settings. All of these come together and are being tracked by time tracking software. We've made it so that you can customize your time, your interactions and choose whatever activity level you want. We have a recommended button, which we'll, we do for you, or you can choose it, choose to customize everything yourself. We've also changed the icon to something completely different so that there's no detection from these time tracking software. You can find more information about that in our FAQs. Okay, so I've opened up Time Doctor and I've put LazyWork into hidden mode using the Control plus O key. Once in hidden mode, I'll start my job in Time Doctor and I'll press the Control plus one key on LazyWork. Now LazyWork is moving by itself. My whole computer is being managed by LazyWork. Here I've sped up the footage so you can see what LazyWork is doing. It's tabbing, scrolling, moving your mouse, and interacting with different components on your screen. There's almost no way to tell if it's a real person or if it's a machine. So we'll let that run and we'll come back. Okay, so we've let it run for a bit, for five minutes exactly, and let's see what the results are. So right off the bat, we have a user named Amex, which is our employee name, and we can see the different websites and apps that we've been using. Here, we can see that we've used QuickTime Player. There's no indication of lazy work, uh, so which, which is great. Let's take a deeper look at our project or hours. No. So here, I'm inside of my user's activity and I can see exactly what they've been working on from screenshots to different apps and all the details. So we can see here, the top we used websites and applications was LinkedIn, Time Doctor, we have our system settings, and even some Discord. We, all of these applications are stuff we have open, but there's no indication of lazy work. Now let's take a quick look into the screenshots. We've set the screenshots to be taken every five minutes, and this is one of, the screen the, one of our older screenshots that we've had. As you can see, there's been full activity in the mouse and keyboard while running lazy work. LazyWork is perfect for changing the screenshots with the alt tab setting and the browser interactions. It'll look completely different to your employer and it'll be completely undetected. All right guys, the final thing we're looking at is this unusual activity report. Third party applications are usually detected by Time Doctor and they're given to your employer so that they can tell you not to download it or an excuse to fire you. Here you can see LazyWork was not detected and is completely safe to use. If you guys have further questions, don't hesitate to reach out as we have a 24-7 live support chat team, as well as email communications.